Hi, welcome to another episode of Growing Crazy with Jeanette. I'm Jeanette, and I'm crazy. So today I had a fun day. I had several people come over and visit me, which is always nice. So hi to everyone who came and saw me today, and I'm glad that I got you magnolia cuttings. Yay. Um, yay, that's happy. And I got, in return for a magnolia cutting, I got my very own dragon fruit. So that's fantastic. So I looked up some facts about dragon fruit, and um, we all know it's a rare and exotic fruit. It's na native to Central and South America. It's also called the pitaya or strawberry pear. Uh, it belongs to the cactus family. It's uh, the average dragon fruit weighs about six ounces. The flowers bloom only at nighttime. It can reach twenty feet tall. The average is six feet, though, so I'm thinking six feet for me, probably. I mean, unless I fertilize him and he goes crazy, which happened with my corn before, so it could happen. You never know. 20 feet? I don't know if we'll fit it in here. We'll see. <laughs> um, it's high in antioxidants C and B. It can aid in digestive health, and it has lycopene. Uh, which is found in dragon fruit is said to fight cancer and heart disease. So that's fantastic. All those things out of one plant. And I'm sure there's more and we just don't know because benefits are always hidden. We'll find out someday. So these cuttings are still doing well. These are cherry cuttings from the weeping cherry debacle. And these guys are still doing okay. Knock on wood. Yeah, I don't know. I hope that they last because I've always wanted a weeping cherry bonsai. That just sounds fantastic. So if I can get this sucker to bloom for me, I mean grow for me and root for me, then I'll be so happy. And then this is for a girlfriend that I have not seen in a while. And so are these two. Um, I'll get to them eventually. <clears throat> I've got... This this plant almost went to my friend today, but I gave him a different spider plant instead. So, hi, Ken. And then this is Suki, and Elise liked his name, or her name. Sylvester. Uh, Eden. Oso. Richard Timothy. Lola, 6B, Lena, who is going to her home tomorrow with my friend Tammy, and this is my new dragon fruit. This is Puff, because get it? It's a dragon fruit. Puff the dragon fruit. Yeah, that's clever. I like it. I think that's very creative. The name was passed down from his parent. So this is the son of Puff, actually. Well, daughter of Puff, because it's a girl. She's got, she's too girly. Um, yeah, she's just a little baby. Here she is up close. And up close and personal, this thing will get humongous. So that's fantastic. That's just great. I've got a couple of uh, dowels in there so that she has something to climb like a trellis. I'll have to put some string across it so she has some kind of crisscross thing to f climb up. <clears throat> but that'll be fine. Or I could just buy a trellis, but you know me, I'd rather do it the hard way. So, these are my two magnolias that I have over here. I mean, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, We've got a bunch of them. We like magnolias in this house. <clears throat> and that's Charlie. And Oliver. And Jinju. <clears throat> and Lulu. Lulu is not doing well. Lulu is my Chinese elm. And I love her because her base is fantastic. Somebody took some time to grow her. And... Right now, she's really bare. I don't know what happened to her. She just dried up and fell apart. And now she's very barren. 
So I'm hoping she comes back. I think it's just the stress of the different seasons. Um, I've been missing her regularly. And uh, Jinju was a little crispy earlier, but I missed it her too. And she seems to be coming back. So hopefully I can make it till next winter so I can get these ladies outside for the winter, which is why I think they are acting up because they didn't get outside this past winter. So I think that this is nature telling me something's wrong with the plant. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. They'll go outside for the winter next winter. That's all I know. And that that's what they need. Esmeralda. Sid and Nancy. The fern and terrarium plant. Here, I'll show you. There they are. Sid and Nancy. Fern and some kind of tubular plant. This is Jezebella. She's really cool looking. I like her a lot. I just found out what she is. She is a Oscularia deltoids. Then I've got all the beetles represented down here. Paul, Ringo, George, and John. Because there's four different plants in here, so you know, it made sense. And then I've got Yogi and Boo Boo down here at my air plants. Loki, the god of mischief. And my bowl of acorns. My mom asked me if I was growing rocks. <laughs> so I told her I wouldn't be far-fetched. I could have been known to do something that silly. But no, I'm not growing rocks. There are acorns surrounding the rocks. I put the rocks in so that the bowl didn't look like a bowl of dirt. Anyway, yes, those are acorns. Oh, and this is Whisper, my, my jade plant. And I didn't name the blueberry, but we can call it Fats Domino. Because of Blueberry Hill. Sounds right. Let's do it. And then over here, we've got Lissa, the Christmas cactus. Right here. And Bessie. The Ropoya. Which looks like this. Different. It's like a tortellini plant. Sort of. And Fred and Wilma. That's the spider plant. And this little guy right there. Okay, well, it's time to say goodnight to the plants. Good night to everybody. Good night to everybody. Good night to everybody. It was nice seeing you. And I hope that you like and subscribe. And come see me again, because I love to see you. Bye. Love ya.